Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we've got all the latest news on the next Pokemon Home update, as well as the expected 230 Pokemon that will be returning in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLCs. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. The first one we're gonna look at today is just a quick update in regards to Pokemon Home. Now we are expecting the compatibility between Pokemon Home and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet to be released very soon but we have had the next update for Pokemon Home as you can see it was announced earlier today that the next update will be on the 2nd of March this Thursday we will be going to version 2.1.1 but has been labeled as a minor mobile update so nothing big there is a lot of speculation at the minute about this being the update that will then allow Pokemon Scarlet and Violet to have that compatibility with Pokemon Home but I can't see this version update being the one that's going to do that and I hope I'm wrong about that but I likely see this a bit further down the line maybe towards the end of March into April it's likely sooner rather than later that we'll get the update and that compatibility between the two but I don't expect it to be coming this soon as of Thursday but we'll wait and see let me know what you think down in the comment section below so the next news that we've got to cover today is going to be the expected pokemon that are returning in the pokemon dlcs the teal mask and the indigo disc now these two dlcs will be split in two but over them we're expecting to get 230 pokemon returning in these dlcs alone there was a tweet by matt as you can see here like sword and shield 1.2.0 the update in Scarlet and Violet 1.2.0 Game Freak have deleted Pokedex entries for a lot of Pokemon instead of stubbing them. Included in the list are all of the currently confirmed returning Pokemon for the DLC like Yanma. So the, Matt's compiled a list of all these Pokemon that have been stubbed out which is exactly what they did with the Pokemon that were removed from the Pokedex in Sword and Shield with that exact same update before the DLCs were dropped. Um, he goes on to say notably all of the starter Pokemon from past games are here except for the Unova Pokemon uh, minus Samurott, which of course is already in there because of Legends Arceus um, and also no legendaries, but they will be added in via home anyway. And that was the case in Sword and Shield as well. This list could very well be all of the returning Pokemon in the DLC, but it could also change. Seems to be a good coincidence, I think. And I think he's onto something here. And I would say probably pegging money on this. It's probably very accurate. But if we hop over to Pokios, then we can have a look at Machio and Joe Rose's site where they've collated all this data and you can have a look at it a lot better of course and um, so all the Pokemon that will be returning in the DLCs that we weren't expecting to return are in this list and these are all stubbed out like they have their data kind of removed which is exactly how they did the same updates with the DLCs coming out for Sword and Shield so you'd think they're going to go along the same sort of lines with Scarlet and Violet so this is likely the list of Pokemon that will be included in the DLCs, which makes a lot of sense. You know, they did the same with Sword and Shield with Venusaur and Blastoise in particular. We had the G-Max Charizard in the base games of Sword and Shield, but Venusaur and Blastoise were introduced in the Isle of Armor. So we're expecting similar things to happen with the Teal Mask and then the Indigo Disc. When these Pokemon will be introduced and which DLC they'll be introduced in, it's still up in the air. And like Matt goes on to say, this could definitely change, so it's not concrete. But this is as good information as we've got at the minute so you can see from the Kanto decks we've got the Bulbasaur line Venusaur there Blastoise line you've got Arbok and Ekans coming in we've got Sand Slash returning so whether or not we get a lol in Sand Slash as well would be quite interesting Clefable very happy about that one I love Clefable so that's nice Ninetales and again a lol in Ninetales is going to be a question there we're going to get Vileplume again one of my favorites so very happy about that Poliwrath coming in so likely going to get Politoed we'll see further along the line uh, Victory Bell, Tentacruel, Golem. It kind of makes sense with the Geodude because it was seen in the DLC trailers. You know, there was a picture on one of the maps for the Indigo disc where we did see a silhouette of a Geodude. So Golem makes sense. Dodrio, Dugon, Executor. Then we've got Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, Weezing, Rhydon. So I'm expecting we'll get Rhyperia as well. Seedra, and that'll include Kingdra. And then Electabuzz, Magmar, Lapras, Porygon. So we've got the Porygon line as well. Snorlax, a very big one to be returning. I did not expect us to see Snorlax. 
Gonna be interesting to use these Pokemon as well with the new Terrastalize mechanic. Uh, then we've got the Chikorita line, so Meganium is coming in. Obviously the Typhlosion line, we know we're gonna get Hisui in Typhlosion, so we know Typhlosion's gonna be in the game anyway. For Alligator, gonna be there as well for it. Noctowl, Ariados, Lantern, very happy about this one. Then we've got Blossom, Politoed we already mentioned, Apom, Yanma we've seen. Then the Gligar line as well as Grand Bull, Macargo. Pillar Swine, we have seen the silhouette of Mama Swine on the same page in the DLC trailer that we saw the Geodude as well. Skarmory coming back, Kingdra, Porygon, Smeagol, big one coming back. Uh, Hit on top, we're going to have Ellie Kid, Magby, then the Trico, Sceptile line, then the Blaziken line and the Swampert line. Mighty Yenna coming in, so we're getting into Gen 3 now. Then Ludicolo, Nuzleaf, and that will be Shift Tree as well that will be making an appearance. Nose Pass coming back and Plusle and Minim. Orbeat, Illumise, and then we've got Flygon, a big fan favorite there that will be returning. Crawdaunt as well, Melotic, Dusclops, Chimeco, and then Metagross, which did get confirmed in the DLCs as well. That was one of the images there. We got the Torterra line, Infernape, and Empoleon as we get into Gen 4. And then the first fossil Pokemon as well. Interesting. Rampados and Bastiodon are coming back. Ambipom. Chingling, Munchlax, Rhyperia, all the Pokemon that we've seen before from their pre-evolutions. Mamoswine as well. Then we're getting into Gen 5, Zeb Striker. We've got Excadrill, we've got Gerdo. So that means Conkledo is coming back. That is awesome. Conkledo was not a Pokemon I was expecting to come back. So that would be really nice. Then we've got Levani. We've got Whimsicott. We've got Scrafty. Scraft I have missed Scrafty so much. So having Scrafty back is going to be epic. Uh, we've got Sanchino, then Renuliclis. We've got Swanna, Galvantula. Chandelier, so we got Munchau, got Golok, Mandibuzz, Meowstic, and then Malamar, then Trevenant, and then we move on to Gen 6, which is going to be Decidueye, Incineroar, and Primarina, all returning the starter Pokemon there. The only starters I think that are missing out are the Unova starters, which we have mentioned, which seems a little bit like... I know we're going to get probably a remake of black and white in this generation. So if that's a hint to those, maybe. Who knows? Then we got Tucanon. We've got Vikavolt, Cutafly, Rabombi, and Dupida. That means Araquanid is coming back. Then we get Comfy, Minio. Then we've got the Como line. We've got Milseri, Alcremi, Morpico, Duraludon. And then that's all. Is that all for Sword and Shield? That's all for the Galar Pokemon. That's not many at all. And then we've got the Hisuian Pokemon, which we knew about anyway, but then we've got Weirdia, Cleaver, Ursulana, uh, Basque Legion, Sneasler, Overquill, Namorous, and then we've got the new Pokemon as well, which were revealed in the DLC trailer. So, um, yeah, very exciting. Like, there's 223 of together, but I think it totals about 230. All in all, that will be returning over the two DLCs. So, these are on top of, like, I think the video that we did way back when, when Sword and Shield just came out, and we got all the information about the Pokemon that were compatible from Pokemon Home. I think it totaled around 400 Pokemon altogether. So, not all of these were included in that. So, we're looking at a big number of Pokemon coming in in total that are going to be included in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet but these are the Pokemon that are going to be coming back in the DLCs although they will be accessible via home whenever we get the compatibility between Scarlet and Violet and then Pokemon Home we'll be able to potentially bring these Pokemon in as well as well as catch them in the DLCs so it's very exciting news as I say at the start you know take up the pinch of salt at the moment because nothing has been confirmed but like Matt said in his tweet who did the initial data mines and put it out there for everyone to kind of have a look at that things can change although because it's been done in this way before in the past it does feel like it's a pretty accurate gauge on what pokemon will be returning and i would tend to agree with them and expect pretty much this to be a very accurate but that's what i think let me know what you think down below in the comment section i would love to hear your thoughts and let me know what pokemon you're excited that will be returning in these dlcs as well I think out of everything that I've seen, probably Snorlax is the one thing that I'm really excited about using because not only is it one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 1, but also it's going to be good competitively. So I'm excited to kind of use that with the Terrastalize mechanic. I feel like it's going to be just an absolute dominating beast. So it'll be very fun to use. But thank you so much for tuning in today. Like I say, if there's any more updates on Pokemon Home, we do have that update on Thursday. We'll put something out if it is impactful. But like I say, I don't think it's going to have any implications with the compatibility with Scarlet and Violet just yet. But hold on. I don't think it'll be too long before we get that integration between the two. So just 
just have a little bit of patience for a little bit longer and I'm sure we will get it very soon. So as soon as we do though, of course, any news on it will update on the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you've enjoyed today's video, do drop a like. It really does help. And subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day and I will catch you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourself and bye-bye.